Joining me now is Dr. Robert Kopp. He is director of the Rutgers Institute of Earth, Ocean, and Atmospheric Sciences at Rutgers University. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Julie. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, a lot of changes, climate changes for one. Um, can you tell us about the recent update to the AGU climate position statement? The last climate change position statement came out in 2013. So it's been six years uh, since this state, till, till this new statement. Um, and a lot has happened in the time since then. There's been the Paris Agreement, uh, the IPCC Special Report in one and a half degrees warming, uh, the Fourth National Climate Assessment. Um, and so AGU thought it was time, in light of all those changes in the broader world, to take a look again at its own uh, position statement. I know we're at a critical point now, so what brought up this update? Yeah, so it was a result of, of all of these factors, and there's a few key changes in here. So for the first time, AGU is calling this a climate crisis, and the shoe really fits there, right? A crisis is a critical turning point uh, in the history of an event, and we are really at a critical turning point in the history of our species with respect to climate change, and AGU wanted to call that out and recognize that there is a need for urgent action on climate change now. Urgent action for everyone. For everyone, yes, right? So we're, we're calling for mitigation and adaptation action led by individuals, by governments, um, by business leaders. Uh, and we're also calling on scientists and engineers to, to engage with all of these sectors and on academic institutions, including both funding agencies and university, to provide more resources and, and more focus on research, um, application and dissemination addressed towards addressing the climate crisis. And you've touched on it, but why is this update so important right now? Well, as I said, we're really at a, a critical turning point. And you know, we now know, uh, you know that climate change is, is really changing everything on the planet, right? It's, a, it's an economic crisis, it's an ecological crisis, you know, starting to impact national security. Um, and so this statement goes through all the lines of scientific evidence which have been you know, reviewed and refined over many, over many decades. Um, so we've seen it in the IPCC and the National Climate Assessment and so forth. Um, and then you know, takes it to look at you know, what do we do now and, and what is the special role that scientists and engineers and our institutions can play. Does it go into detail about what do we do now? There's a few things as a society um, we need to do, right? So the first one is get global net uh, carbon dioxide emissions to zero and sharply reduce emissions of other greenhouse gases. So that means expanding energy efficiencies, it means decarbonizing the electric grid, it means decarbonizing other action uh, elements of the, of the energy system, and also addressing all the things beyond the energy system that emit greenhouse gases. Um, it also means taking uh, more deliberate and careful action to adapt to the impacts of climate change. All right, Dr. Robert Kopp, thank you. My pleasure.